Come on, come on. Continuing vampire. Come on, rats. Wait a second. Um, follow the trail of blood. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Two handed weapon. I don't know about that. Damage is more. Yeah, but look at this. It's 99 damage. It's less than half increase, basically. But the attack speed is three times slower. Wait. Attack speed 15. Attack speed 5. Does that mean 5? Like 5 is lower than 15? But why is it down? In terms of speed. Yeah, okay, speed. Not like time. Got it. So it is slower. Oh, God, I wasted that. Yes. It's locked, alright. This place reeks of bloodshed. I must have more. Oh dear God, not again. William, please. This stop. creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Oh, here we go. This is the vampire. Why can't I do my stick anymore? Why is it like... Why is this guy murdering me? There we go. Used bludgeon. I used that instead. I don't know if I like two-handed machete. Oh, I see. That's why it's two-handed. Well, what? Oh, I could switch it. Coo coo. Why don't I use? Hold on. Let's get this out of here. Oh, now it's all messed up. Okay, let's change this to that. Let's bring that back to this. And that. There we go. I think one-handed is the way to go. William, please stop. Hold on. Where is Mr. William here? Where did I kill him? Oh, there he is. Can I loot him? Talk to this guy. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Yeah, Mr. Hamilton, like are you in there? I knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am. I'm a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. <sighs> Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. 
You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fold. My flock needs me. Yes, Go with the good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. This poor creature can't be my mate. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? No, don't play me for a fool. You use me to locate that... Skull, you must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. Were well, London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End, and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stole, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. How, Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed. A surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. <laughs> and what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word, again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth. But when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. And for that, you are right. Then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. I'm really this stuck. Is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting you this. You look sickly yourself, dude. Affliction. Dr. Reed. 
Take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous <laughs> offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, nice to meet you, too. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane! I'm coming! Let's just eat them all here. We'll have a word in my office later, John. Come on, you bastard! You, you can, can do, do better than that! Nah! It's my turn! Rotten or crusty, each heart contains the seeds of life. Drink at this river. Dry it all. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Ah, again, I'm trying to insulting a good finish. Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right. Sorry, I am in pain here. We got to spilling out onto the street, and you're yabbering on. Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was. I am a doctor, Doctor Jonathan Reed. Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. I don't want to eat him though. Oh, I can release him? Massive XP boost, but if you be aware, there will be consequences. Learning more about this is a click there. Increase. 
I'll release him. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Whoa, I feel giddy. Does he not need the hospital anymore? It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. Okay. One, um, I just feel like more characters remain in the game and more connections. I don't know. I feel like you just kind of tie up a lot of loose ends or kind of leave things unfinished if you just kill people. Also, it'll make the game a little more challenging, so we don't want it to be too easy now, do we? This is music. Are these, oh, there's people here. Oh, what about these people? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. What's your problem? I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. Uh, I'll ask yeah. our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Thanks. I would like to ask a few questions first. What kind of man is Dr. Swanson? <clears throat> when you accepted the job from him, I thought you would have known about your employer. Uh, hmm. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator ah. has better things to do than mix with us. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in, how does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Thank you, nurse Crane. Bye bye now. What can I do for you, doctor? What? Thank you, Nurse Crane. Bye bye now. Deja vu. <clears throat> if only hospitals nowadays can say that. Just exploring here, making sure we get some loot. The loot. Where's Nurse Crane? She's gotta be here somewhere. Hmm. 
Interesting. Oh, she's here. Curious. That's her. I think that's her. Right? Nope, it's unknown. Let's see who Good she evening, is. nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome mm -hmm. to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but... How do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses are already resigned. <coughs> I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem? I should know about this. It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Oh, Dr. Corcoran Tippetts. So we got some info there. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. I like how it's his first hour on the job and he's no, already I may disagree with some sticking his nose in. But in the end, everybody is doing their best. Mesmerize. Oh, we need some hints. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. So some dialogue options are locked until you can know more information about them. All right. The patients are not fools. What's this guy? Think, sir? Is this Corcoran? The famous Dr. Reed has joined. Tur us. I can't turn your back, bro. During these terrible times. Do we know each other? Look Actually, at this yes. guy. He's not even looking at me. Before, at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. Well, he is Dr. Tippett. very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. Good I gotta fix this. this. I can't look at his back. There we go. Good evening, Dr. Tippett. Finally. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Ooh, see, this one's locked. Unlocked. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. 
What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Branigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire mm -hmm. her skills. Overqualified as a nurse? Oh, that was a thing for him, though. I'll go even further. Oh, wait, we got something for her. Oh. Same hint. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve, but I must admit he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah, yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. Oh, it's to you. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think <laughs> about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Hmm. I don't want to see the bottom, but you have nothing to prove. Nurse. I don't want to throw her under the bus either. Let's just do You have nothing to prove, Dr. Tippett, to anybody. And we all praise your experience. Please have some rest. I am perfectly fine, and I am not too old for this job. All right, all right. Hmm, those are all locked. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now, let's go back to, well, I don't know where she is. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Ooh, a trade. What I'd like got? to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Um, I don't need to buy gun stuff. What are these? How much coins do I have? 60? I do need some parts. Well, not really. Here, let's sell some. Well, never, not much to sell either. Wait, hold on, I gotta talk to you. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... Too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. Ah, it's EMT! A job, but I get it done. Most of the time. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing in. Nice. I escaped through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want. 
But be careful, Doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. It's our new investigation, so we got a side mission here. Since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. <laughs> it's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know. And by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation? All locked. Goodbye, Milton. Nothing to trade. Where is he? Okay, Milton's there. Doctor Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. The pain. Who's this? Good evening, nurse. Good evening, Doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And Pippa I'm Dr. Pig. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Get a grip. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? You must get a hold of yourself, nurse. <sighs> Sorry, I'm exhausted. No one has any idea when this epidemic will be over. How long have you been a nurse? Or long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. You'd be surprised what dedication can achieve, Nurse Hawkins. Yeah, Nurse Hawkins. In medicine, sometimes we're just a test result away from a miracle. <sighs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. How is the Pembroke staff? Well, not well. Milton the ambulance. Why is Milton grumpy? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. Okay. <laughs> Why does Milton dis- I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. See a nurse. Let's go back to Milton. I feel like a lot of the game... Mm, actually, I don't know how important these are especially because I'm not trying to eat them so just have to see I guess Who's this? good evening miss yeah. I'm dr. Reed your name has no meaning to me mortal you're nothing but dust blown by the wind. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency. Mortal? You keep calling me mortal. Well, Dr. Reed. Vampire? And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. Please. Dis I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I see. Have you never? It's a mental illness discovered by a French <laughs> neurologist named Jules Cotta. 
The affected patients are delusional. They believe... Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty. I love how the first patient he talks to <laughs> says you're delusional. I mean, she might be, but, you know. I he doesn't even know. Are you a patient here? here? Yeah. Am I right, Miss Howard? It's only a cover to hide from. Who are these enemies? I cannot say for sure. The staff here are not... I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I see. Don't worry. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere. New investigation. Who are you, really? Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? I'm curious to know who you were. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. I'll leave you, Mr. Time has lost its effect on me. But the suffering. So if I go on main quest is here. There's a patient here. What is all this? Oh, these are the investigations. Okay, so Milton. No, not that. No. This. Milton Hooks confessed yeah, he'd lost his wallet or something, right? Lost his wallet. Okay, so we gotta go search that. What did she want us to do? For her. Oh, the spy, okay. Delusional patient. The woman claims she's being spied on by someone who wanted to turn her down. Okay. Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken... You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty... How is your st Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the mole. Can I ask you precisely what... It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. Can I do it? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. Who is treating you? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. You don't seem... My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. Where were you stations? I really don't want to... No offense. I was pushing too much. You were an officer, weren't you? How close are you to Miss Horcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best. Aren't you afraid? She may hurt you if the game... She's quite harmless. I can... Yikes. So do you let her bite? And why not? She's only supping a few drops. She could decide to bite. And it's another good reason. You do realize she's mentally disturbed. It's called the Cotar syndrome. She truly believes she's a vampire. In her madness, she never refers to my scars. And frankly, if I could, I'd join her world. It seems much more fun than the real one. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Damn. I wish I could stick again. No, a Good lot evening, of characters here. Oh, this How is this guy. Feel? Dr. Reed, is it? What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. You remained perfectly in. Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. How did you end up? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. Alarming. I went to his place and he refused. Why? William was an alcoholic. You dared to enter this awful... I'm just a man trying to help his friends, so... Do you know Tom Watts? The Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair... People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice. 
Nothing. It's a damn shame. Who should I avoid in this part of town, then? Any but Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. What is the general situation in the East End, Dobbs? The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers' trade union. The wet boot boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. Who leads the gang? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina. Oh, Clay Cox. Show, with the assistance of her minion, Booth Digby. Has the gang been? Ah, no. I have had this nickname for so long, you know. What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around. I manage a night asylum for the poor. Are you a priest? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of... Why didn't you use your cross again? That's a very strange question, Doctor. Hmm. How do you feel? I feel exhausted. You're in good hands here. Thank you, sir. I... Have you made... Fr Not really. But I recognize Miss Har- You never came to see her here at Pembroke. You're preaching to the converted now, Doc. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. It's locked. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening. Goodbye. See you again. Time has lost its effect on me, but the suffering continues. It's like a local map we can go to. Guess not. That goes to the second floor. But there's way more to do here. What's this? Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I believe- Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your arrival. I'm Waverly Aykroyd. Oh, Welcome Dan Aykroyd. Does my arrival in- Let us just say that I don't particularly- sh Is that right? If you have a problem with me, Doctor- Doctor Swansea has imposed your presence on this hospital without asking it- I know we've never met before, but I believe this hospital could use all the help it can get. Oh, but I have heard about you, Dr. Reed. There is no need for such animosity between us. Don't you think the epidemic is already enough? That is one point we could agree on. And that is precisely why I want to be sure that you will be of help to this hospital instead of a burden. Who is this guy? Since your tenure in this hospital is longer than mine, Perhaps you can tell me more about this place. Let's just say I'm tired of the carelessness around me. I have always respected the skills of Dr. Swansea. Carelessness? We're here to save lives. The people who trust us are not volunteering for experimentation. They're here to be healed. I don't intend to run any radical experiments, Doctor. Even if I, as any good practitioner should, express an interest in pushing the boundaries of... Modern medical methods were created through audacity and ego. But there are rules in our line of work, and they're here to protect... A this approves modern medicine methods? Oh, there's no sky. I don't know what you've heard about me, but... I don't question your skills, Dr. Reed, but your motive... And what exactly is... I served in the war just like you. But unlike you, I did not use the wounded to play the mob... Be careful what you insist. I only want you to admit you used those men... This is ridiculous. My blood transfusion technique saved many lives, and you know it. You see? That is exactly what I hate about people like you. You avoid this kind of accusation instead of faith. It seems you have... I refuse to see this industrial slaughter. We can at least agree on some. Thank you for your t oh, This gives me the first I eat if I do choose. To 
go around biting people. What's this? Good evening, Doctor. I believe Doctor Reed. Side Dr. profile. Swansea informed us. <laughs> I am Thoreau Strickland, Doctor Thoreau. Please, could you tell me? I'm a great admirer of your. What made you? I'm not ashamed to admit you and your. It's always a pleasure to share scientific. This epidemic may be the century's most terrible disaster, but I'm convinced that we, as doctors, I based my technique on my mentor's research. He had I'd rather not talk about it. For now, it's just theories and first approach. My process is purely experimental and unsuccessful. As long as you're cautious and methodical, you may remain... You're not the first one to warn me, but I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the... What can you tell me? Well, it has always been an honor to work... You seem quite... I'm convinced that this epidemic... Questions remain about... True. True. Do you need help with... Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a batch of products I ordered for my personal research, yet my supplier seems to have vanished. Side you mission. play the errand boy for you? Oh no, Dr. Reed. But if you went personally to his shop, what with your reputation and all, he wouldn't dare to refuse the products I need. I see. Well, give me the address, for I may pass by if I have time. What do you think of Dr. Ackroyd's aversion to modern medical methods? It's a shame he's so narrow-minded. Dr. Swansea taught me that science is about exploring uncharted territory. I'm convinced that's true. With the influenza and all that's going on. I believe that if Dr. Ackroyd had been the one to discover the transfusion process, he would be the first to recommend it. So you believe it's just a question? Dr. Ackroyd is as proud as he is blinded by his... Tell me more about your willingness to ex- Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion to- What is it you really want? Fair question. Tell me, Mr. F Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick- But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father. Ashamed of putting his children at risk because of his own negligence. This personal involvement could also... I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Ack... Do you think keeping his... All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings. Goodbye, Dr. Okay, we're getting some info. We already spoke to Dorothy Crane. Thank you, Nazca. I'm quite busy right now. Tell me, Waverly. What do you think? Strickland is playing with his patient's life. Are you thinking about... Harvey Fiddick needs delicate surgery. I believe we should stick to the usual procedure. But my young colleague... And are you not afraid that your... Rivalry? I guess you could call it that. Why do you... I strongly believe that Mr. Fiddick should not be butchered to test an unproven procedure. Hmm. Other people may say that's too con conservative. And what are you going? Thank you for your. I will not let you down, my boy. So many deaths. Good evening, sir. I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Your co. I see. I'm Harvey Fiddick. Oh, it's this All guy. I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Ackroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with Rock. 
Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddler. I'm just a regular guy waiting to get his arm fixed. So I can return to work and to my family. I was more curious about... I'm a carpenter. And a good one, too. But that means I need both arms to feed my family, Dr. Ru Are you satisfied? Well, it's clear that I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Forgive my bluntness, but you seem overwhelmed. I won't lie to you. Are you sure you don't want to operate yourself, Dr. Reed? I have the feeling you're very capable. And you're... In other circumstances, you would be right. But for now, I don't think I can take on the responsibility. Tell me about your injury. <laughs> Why is he yelling at Why him? do you feel so? My wife died because of me. How? And now I may lose everything because I've been careless enough to hurt myself. How could your job be responsible for your... I was working a double. She went out to bring me a hot meal and got caught in a German bomb raid. You can't hold yourself responsible for your... Of course I didn't hurt myself. Tell me more about the death... 1915. I was in the army. Building... What happened? The Germans sent Zeppelins to bomb the construction. I'm sorry for your loss. I would like to say that she didn't suffer. How are your children? They were smaller then. Goodbye for now, Mr. Difference. Good evening, and good evening to you, Doc. Goodbye, Doctor. Okay. We got all three. We could technically eat this guy. Does that mean I could talk to him more? Good evening. Good evening. It's all unlocked. Oh, here we go. You seem worried about the safety <laughs> of your family. You seem worried! And it's obviously the reason why your wound. I cannot give up on my children now. What about their mother? She died in 1915. She just told you, bro. Raids. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. Hmm. So this is that one mission. Okay, let's go to the second floor here. Yeah. Oh, this is outside. It's locked, all right. Pippa Hawkins. Ah, so she wants to quit, eh? Let's check this side. Dr. Swanson. Okay. Man's probably in the bathroom. Wait, this is second floor, right? Yeah. Who's this? Wait, oh, invisible wall. 
I cannot enter. Oh, it was unlocked three seconds ago. So there's a third floor, but let's stick to the second for now. Cool. Thomas Elwood's medical file. It's locked. It's locked. Everything's locked. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Okay, what can we craft here? Oh, analyze. Oh, so it's health, okay. Nothing here. The blood is much more unstable. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. Okay, gonna rest here. <sighs> See what should we level up. This is your stamina. I don't like active things, I like to just have passive. Stamina is pretty good actually, because I run out of attacks. Okay, I think we're going to end the video here, and then we'll start again on the next one. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Okay, see you on the next one.